Hi, just a quick follow up on this dumpster dive iMac uh, find and I tried various passwords and stuff to get into this thing, but none of them uh, worked. So, uh, thanks to uh, viewer Let's Make Games, um, actually told me how to get into this. A lot of people uh, said the same thing, hold down the command and R keys to go into recovery mode, or in the case of the Windows uh, keyboard that I've got here, uh, hold down the Windows R key. I tried that and I got to like a flash in, like it was a big picture of an Apple um, screen, like an Apple keyboard, and then flashing between a mouse and telling me to push the buttons on these, and it wouldn't let me go any further, so recovery mode didn't work, but, uh, Let's Make Games said, um, hold down, uh, Windows and the S key, or Command S key when you boot, and sure enough, um, <laughs> check it out, I got into all this, uh, Penguin stuff, which I do not understand, uh, at all, but anyway, um, let's, we've got our bash command down here, so, uh, he's given me some commands to try, so let's try this to, uh, basically get back into the new user setup. So apparently it's mount, uh, dash uw slash, like that or is it space slash, I think. Yep, okay, well, there's nothing, it didn't give me any error, I don't know, slash var, slash db slash dot apple, I believe that has to be uppercase, uh, I think setup done, like that, yep, okay, hope I'm not typing anything wrong, and then, uh, shut down dash r now, and apparently it should reboot into the new user setup screen, so, hey, whoa, winner! Let's make games. Thank you very much. Let's uh, see what happens here. This is how to recover your iMac. I don't know what version of Apple OS or whatever it is this is. Um, I've got no idea. It is a 2010 model, I think it is. Core i5. Um, Core i5 760, I think it is. So, you know, past mark of like 40. 200, 4500, something like that. Um, so it's not a beast, but uh, it's <laughs> going to be uh, certainly a usable machine. So apparently we should go into new user setup and it should just bypass. Um, I presume it deletes in, maybe it deletes anything that was on there previously. I don't know, but apparently it's a new Apple setup. So please excuse me. I don't use Apple products. I've got, I own no Apple products and I have no idea how to use Mac OS. So I'm a complete dummy at this. Um, geez, but it bloody takes a while, doesn't it? I mean, it's, it, this one's got, uh, I think it's got a one terabyte hard drive in this, uh, configuration. And, uh, I'm not sure of how much, uh, memory. And, because I actually looked up the serial number, which you can see in the previous one, that gives you all the specs. Um, so, but it certainly takes a while to boot, and this new user setup, uh, might even take longer, but, um... This, there seems to be on the screen, I think you can see it on the screen, it's a bit dark on the sides here, so maybe, you know, the backlight is not the best. Um, I, I, you know, this looks like it doesn't have a LED backlight, it looks like it has a, uh, um, a fluorescent backlight on it, um, CCFL backlight, but, uh, yeah, that might eventually, you know, th those things get worse and they break down and stuff like that, that's quite common. Um, but it still seems to be good. So hopefully I can use the Windows keyboard and mouse. It, hopefully it lets me use it, because it has complained quite a few times that I, I don't have the apple-y keyboard, I don't have the fruity keyboard and the fruity mouse. So I think I've got an old um, iMac keyboard somewhere with a couple of keys missing. <laughs> I can try that if I get desperate. Perhaps, but it's not one of these newfangled uh, wireless Bluetoothy things. It's a corded one that I found, and with uh, that—that's a real old one. I'm sure I showed that in the EV blog. Yes, thank you very much. Let's make games. Totally called it, Australia. Here we go. Um, I might need like an e. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, no, the mouse is not working. Okay, it it has worked previously. Enter's not working. Oh, yeah. Yeah, got it. Got it. So it was the mouse. It's a really bad optical mouse. I can't move the cursor. It's there. <laughs> but 
I'm, I'm going to get there eventually. Let me... Ah, different surface. There we go. Just didn't like that. Okay, continue. Thank you. Keyboard layout. Australian. <laughs> no, I don't have a um, Dvork keyboard. Oh, oh, we could have showed all there for the countries. There we go. All right, we're back in. It uh, connected to my Wi-Fi, no problems. How do you want to transfer your information? Oh, from a Mac, don't transfer any information. Thank you. Just want to set up new. Sign in with your Apple ID, don't sign in. I assume that I can uh, create an Apple ID later. Use a separate Apple ID, uh, whatever. Are you sure you want to skip signing in? An Apple ID is used to automatically set up the iTunes Store, App Store, iCloud and more. I don't care. Skip. Uh, OS X, okay. What version of OS X? I don't know. Agree. I have read. I agree. Yep, sign my life away. NSA is now uh, tracking the uh, camera up the top, I'm sure. <coughs> So, hi, NSA, if you're watching. Full name, account name. This will be the name of your home folder. Full name, Dave, account name, evblog. Do I need a password? Can we actually go without a password? No. Okay, we're creating our account. Diagnostics, no. No, don't want to do any of that. Continue. Setting up your Mac. Wow, cool. Because <laughs> I, I had to buy a Mac because we want to do the um, iPhone version of the 120... Yay, we're in like Flynn! The iPhone version of the 121GW software and apparently you need a Mac. You've got to have a Mac just to develop the iPhone software. Apparently that's, that's the thing. There's like online services where you can like rent access to a Mac and stuff like that and apparently that works and things like that. But... Um, I assume it's going to do something in a minute. We're in like Flynn. Oh, look at that. There you go. We have, well, it's not a brand spanking new, but we have now a Core i5 iMac with OS X. I don't know how to, uh, like, how do we know if we've got, like, the latest get to know your Mac. Mac help. I don't know. Is there, like, where's update and stuff like that? Cool bananas. Let's go to uh, Safari down here. I do know that much about, hello, do know that much about apples. Oh, geez, it's slow as a wet week. I guess it's, it's still doing stuff in the background, you know, fair, fair enough. Fair suck of the sav. Welcome to Safari. EEVlog.com. Come on, you can do it. Do we have the interwebs? I'm sure we have the interwebs because it connected to my Wi-Fi network. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of starting to see why they toss this thing. It's really slow. Although, yeah, I think the hard drives might still be doing stuff in the background. We're in like Flynn. Is that how my website... No, there we go. It just takes time to render. Cool bananas. We're done. Awesome. So thank you very much. Um, let's make games for that tip of how to recover your iMac. That was far too easy. Awesome. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Catch you next time. And it looks like it hasn't actually nuked the drive. It's just created a new user for me. And I won't show you, but if I go in there and actually uh, click on Dave there, drop down, it shows the existing users on here. Um, so, yeah, it's just like created a new account for me and lets me use the machine. I can get in and I can do admin uh, stuff and things like that. But, uh, yeah, look, it's had other stuff like uh, Team Viewer installed. So, like, I... I don't know if Macintosh, sorry, iMac comes with um, the team view, but I don't think it does. And it comes with a something else here called uh, Lab Tech. So they've obviously got, you know, they've, they've put something like that in. And also there's an Adobe uh, Creative uh, Cloud sign in and stuff like that. So I presume those things don't come with your regular iMac, so it looks like, you know, these things are pre-installed on the system, so it hasn't reinstalled the system, it's just done a new user for me. So, that's terrific.